Hello children, we are going to start chapter 3 of your NCERT textbook that is fiber to fabrics. So what exactly we are going to study in this chapter? Basically, we'll introduce the topic, then we'll talk about fibers, different types of fibers. We'll talk about wool, then we'll move on to silk. In this chapter, we have also discussed about disease caused due to wool and sericulture industries. At the end of this chapter, we are going to recapitulate what we have studied. So let us now introduce the chapter that is fiber to fabrics. The basic need of human beings are air, water, shelter, food and clothing. Can you tell me? Why clothes are necessary for us? Why it is one of the important need of human being? The answer is very simple children. Clothes protects us from heat if it is a summer, then cold if it is a winter and during rainy season also. We use various types of clothing material in our daily life. You must have heard from your parents like your mother she must be saying I'm going to wear a silk sari or your father it's too hot today so I'm going to wear a cotton shirt today so we use different materials like cotton linen silk jute polycotton non-woven wool etc etc some people prefer knitted clothes also the man is shivering from cold so what should he wear in winter season he should wear woolen clothes is it possible to wear same fabric in all season can it be possible children the answer is no from which substance a clothing material is made up of? The answer is fiber. All fabrics are made of fibers. The choice of fabric depends on climate. If it is summer, we should wear a fiber which are having more pores so that airs, air molecules can pass through easily. Similarly, in winters, we should have a cloth which can trap air and does not allow heat to move out of it. For example, in winters, we wear woolen clothes. You can see here, sweater of a wool. And in summers, we prefer cotton clothes which are having lot many pores and allows air to easily pass through it and makes our body cool. The kind of fabric to be used depends on its specific characteristics. Cotton clothes allow air to circulate freely. Thus, the heat of the body escapes while woolen clothes prevent body heat from escaping fibers let us understand more about fibers with the help of this animation let us learn about fibers and their types we all know that we eat food to survive and we need a house to live in 
Have you ever thought why clothes are necessary for us? Clothes protect us from heat, cold, rain, etc. We use various types of clothing materials in our everyday life. In summers, we prefer cotton clothes and in winters, we wear woolen clothes. The cloth material made by weaving or knitting threads together is called fabric. Do you wonder what these fabrics are made of? That's right, fabrics are made up of fibers. Fibers are hair-like strands from which all fabrics are made. On the basis of the sources, fibers can be classified into natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from plants or animals. Cotton, jute and silk are natural fibers. Cotton and jute are plant fibers. Are wool and silk also plant fibers? No, they are obtained from animals. So, they are animal fibers. On the other hand, synthetic fibers like nylon, polyester, acrylic, etc. are made from the organic compounds. Children, now let us learn about some of the animal fibers. So, the animal fiber here is wool. We will now watch the animation to learn more about wool. Wool is a natural fiber obtained from animals with thick coat of hair on their bodies. This coat is called fleece. Some important wool yielding animals are sheep, goat, yak, camel, llama and alpaca. Fine and soft under hair of these animals provide fiber for making wool. Different animals yield different varieties of wool like yak wool, angora wool, mohair wool and pashmina wool. Yak wool is obtained from the yak's hair. Angora wool is obtained from the angora rabbit. Mohair wool is obtained from the angora goat. Pashmina wool is obtained from the goat hair. We wear woolen clothes in winter season. The fibers of wool have large spaces in between them which trap lots of air and do not allow it to escape to surroundings. Air being a poor conductor of heat conserves the body heat and keeps it warm. That is why woolen clothes are worn in winters. Sheep rearing in India is performed in the hilly regions like states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim. It is also done in the plains of Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan and Gujarat. Sheep are herbivores and prefer grass and leaves. These are also fed upon the mixture of pulses, corn and jowar. Healthy feed ensures good quality wool from these animals. Some of the Indian breeds of sheep are as follows. You can see that Lohi is here which produces a good quality wool from Rajasthan, Rampur, Brown Fleece from Uttar Pradesh, likewise Nali, Bakharwal, Marwari and Patanwadi. They all produce good quality wool. Let us now understand the process of processing fiber to wool. It involves 
rearing and breeding of sheep and this processing of fibers to wool is done in nine steps the first one is shearing second one is scouring third one is sorting fourth one is drying fifth one is carding sixth one is dyeing seventh is roving eighth is spinning and ninth is weaving children in ncert test book the drying carding and roving is not given but i have included so that you can have a better understanding of this processing now here is a first term that is rearing what exactly is the meaning of rearing it is just bringing up and looking after sheep second one is selective breeding it is a process of selecting parents for obtaining special characters like fine hair in their offspring children if i want to get good quality fiber or yarn from the sheep i need to identify the right sheep which is giving me fine hair for that that is known as selective breeding that means i'll breed between two such sheep for getting a new sheep which will provide me fine hair the first one is shearing the process of removing the fleece of a sheep along with a thin layer of skin is known as shearing the hair of sheep are removed during the hot weather that is during summer this enables the sheep to survive without its protective coat of hair children shearing does not hurt the sheep because the uppermost layer of its skin is dead as you can see your father must be shaving every day the dead skin is removed every day so it doesn't hurt your father so it doesn't hurt the sheep also sheep are reared in many parts of our country for wool certain breeds of sheep have a thick coat of hair on their body which yields good quality of wool in large quantities once the reared sheep develops the thick growth of hair commonly known as fleece it is shaved off for obtaining the wool the process of removing the fleece from the skin of the sheep is called shearing hand or blade shears and electric shears are used to shave off hair of sheep shearing does not hurt the sheep just like it does not hurt when you get a hair cut or your father shaves his beard do you know why it is because the upper most layer of human skin is dead also the hair of sheep grows again just as your hair does usually the hair are removed during the hot weather this enables sheep to survive without their protective coat the scouring it is the process of washing hairy sheared skin in tanks to remove grease dust and dirt there are two ways of doing it one it is done manually and second it is done with the help of machines sorting is the process of separating different textures of hairy skin obtained from scouring after sorting and scouring the wool is dried which makes it ready to be drawn into fibers some small for fluffy fibers called burrs are picked out from the hair the fibers are scoured again and dried the person working as a sorter in woolen industry may get infected by sorter's disease 
after drying the next process is carding what is this process the process is drawing woolen fibers into straight continuous form it can be done manually or it can be done using a machine the natural color of sheep is brown black or white sometimes it is a mixture of both so if we require different colors of fiber we need to dye it so we use different dyes to color the fibers roving is the process of splitting of woolen web into fine strands for spinning after the process of roving the fibers are twisted together to form yarn this process is known as spinning it can be done manually or by the help of machines so let us summarize how the wool is obtained from the fleece first of all the fleece has been washed and the dirt has been removed Le second it is sorted out third it is aligned and with the help of comb and spinning we ultimately make yarn out of it that is single strand of wool so the question arises what exactly is yarn a yarn is a continuous strand made up of a number of fibers which are twisted together after spinning shorter yarns are weaved to make a cloth longer twisted fiber yarns are knitted into sweaters knitting is done with the help of needles children you must have seen your mothers making sweaters during summer with the help of knitting needles it is very common in army area fiber to fabric fiber is nothing but a continuous filament which can be molded into yarn yarn can be waved or knitted into fabrics so what are the uses of wool children wool is used for making many things i know you must be knowing more things which i am going to enlist here so where does it is used the first one is jacket everybody must have worn jacket in their life then it is used for making fabrics then blankets shawls have you heard about pashmina shawl it is made up of pashmina wool which is taken from the sheep which are herded in the kashmir valley and the last one is carpet so that's all for today's session children i hope you must have enjoyed the session we will meet in the next session thank you